hell's my ratchet wrench? <sighs> Here's his knife. Oh, thank God. When Joe Haslam found out he came back, he was terrified. Oh, I am so relieved. Yeah, okay. See you, Ricky. Damn it. More of them. Ah, is that all you got? Shit. 
Come, Melissa, come on! Here! Enemies be <laughs> That's the last of them. Hey, Ricky, it's done. Thank God. All right, I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Hey, Ricky. What's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here when they were hit by a group of drifters. Who the hell's right they tracked them back ranch? to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he can, if he can use a gun. What the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke.
Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Oh, uh, yeah, I got this. Deacon out. All right, boys, what? You thought you just set up camp in Lost Lake territory? Had the run with place? Murderers and thieves. I thought I saw someone out there. Hey. Hey, yeah. Uh. Oh, come on. <laughs> Time to clear this camp. Something's wrong. He's hiding in the shrubs. Please tell me that's all. I'm oh no, no, a couple more. That's it. Ricky, it's done. I cleared out the camp full of drifters north of Malacqua Lake. Thanks, Deke. I'll let Boozer know. I'll be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, <laughs> Deke. Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. Yep, a 
block the lake, yeah. Yeah, they're done. Remember back in the day up in the Leary Mountain, we used to complain about all the, the vagabonds and squatters that those came used to bring in? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, well, now that Lost Lake's got power, it seems like it's a hundred times worse, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It makes me sort of miss those days. Well, now we can see a boost man peeking out. Bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. Keep it up. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Jesus, Deke! You did it! Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. Felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share, you know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? You want out here trying to kill everyone else. <sighs> Manny. You know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Uh, no idea. Two and a half million. If you count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Get the hell out of here. Found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp. How many men you, you have, how many here, guns. Right. I hope he told Not me. Not We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. If Manny gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Deke, we really need your help. Ricky, hey, what's wrong? I just got a radio call from Jeremy. Jeremy? Gibbons? He's that kid who wrote in a few days ago. Remember the group he was with that got wiped out near Tumalo? I assigned him marsh duty, but evidently Jeremy isn't much for taking orders. Okay, yeah, but uh, a radio call, why is he out in the shit? He wanted to prove himself, go on a supply run by himself. Anyway, he ran out of gas near a farm northwest of here. I made a note on your map. Can you find him before... Yeah, before he gets himself killed, sure. I'll have a look around. I got the gate. Hey, Ricky, this uh, farm, where is it exactly? 
It's right across from the bridge that leads to the farm. It, it'll be on the left. <clears throat> okay, you, hold on. You mean the, the Lost Lake farm? Got it, got it. Deacon out. all of them. Hmm, that's interesting. I saw something.
I'm in here. I'm in here. All right, kid. Hang on. I'm coming. Mr. St. John? Oh, thank God. Thank God. It's just the kid. They, uh, they, they, were, they were talking about, they, they were gonna cut me up. They were gonna eat me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, you got this? Can you get your gas, then get your ass back up to camp? You got it? Yes, sir. God damn yes, it, sir. don't call me sir, it's Deacon. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Say that he was on tonight. Well, I honestly didn't stop to ask them. Deacon out. Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped up Molotov. A souped up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, Deke. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but, you know, you get the idea. Yeah. Deacon out. <laughs> All right, brother, you're killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? I just like driving that dump truck around. You're goddamn right I do. All right, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill? Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> Camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? Deke, you 
there? Hey, Ricky. What's up? There's still some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Deke, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take them out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out. <laughs> Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Bruiser, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. But there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. Just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. <sighs> Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy. I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we, got, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. This, this crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, we couldn't keep them away. Go! <laughs> got word you were planning a little road trip. Stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny, are you Deke? Nose down? Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Take you on damn fool errands. Get your ass shot off. Manny, listen up. This no is a... way. No way. We're staying out of it. Hidden me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Deke. Hello, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, but wishes she could be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay. Well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Well, I need to. Are we ready? Listen, 
I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until then. Okay. All right! Let's do this! Ah! <laughs> 